Welcome back people, we got another video on the M365 Pro Scooter. So we've done a speed hack on this before, which um, if, you need to, if you need to do the same, you could always check out across the channel and you will find it. It is there, but today I'm going to show you how to change the brake pads. In this M365 Pro, so you're going to need to use a 5mm Allen key and a 3mm Allen key and these brake pads just here. I brought these brake pads online, um, I just typed in M365 Pro brake pads, make sure they're the ones, look at your brake pads and look at the um, the brake pads that you buy obviously before you purchase it, but they're round and they've got a little tip on the top as you can see, they're about the size of a penny. So this scooter is not mine, it's my brother's, I'm doing some work on it and the reason why I'm saying that is because it's really dirty, I know that some of my stuff's dirty but it's not as bad as this, my brother, um, <laughs> he doesn't really look after his stuff that great, I'm going to be honest, but anyway, yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the electric scooters, moto blogs, we also do live gaming with face cam and mic, but it's pretty simple, <clears throat> 3mm allen key take out that top nut first and then the other the other nut just beside it there unfortunately i had to record this on my phone because my other camera the battery was dead and um he needed this he needed this brake pads change big time because he was actually riding around without any brake pads with these scooters just to mention you got to be kind of careful because the brake pads on the back can wear out but yet the brakes will still work because it uses the brake in the front of the wheel which is um, an automatic brake, and when you pull the fr when you pull the brake, the front brake, um, it brakes, and obviously the back brake brakes as well. He's been riding around on this scooter for the last month or so, on just um, probably longer than that, in fact, on just using the front brake and no back brake, which is the brakes inside the mub, uh, the hub motor. So yeah, kind of dangerous because it could end up burning out the motor. So definitely recommend on checking the brake pads quite often. I would probably recommend to change them every six months, to be honest. That would be your best bet, to change them every six months. So there you go, there's that screw there as well. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm also going to show you how to tighten up the brakes as well. So there on the side, there is a little Allen key, which uh, is a 5mm. And that is how we adjust it, just there. And inside, as you can see, the brake pads definitely look worn down to me. So you're going to need a very, very thin pair of pliers. These brake pads are held in by magnets, basically. So, yeah, get yourself a very thin pair of pliers, which is what I have got. Just trying to zoom in the camera there, try and get the position right. So there's a little bit there. It's about the size of a penny, and there's a little bit that sticks up. So just push it out, and as you can see, it does move. So get a very, very thin pair of pliers, pull them out, and they come out that easy. Yeah, pretty quick. They are actually really worn down, like really bad. And they, <laughs> the brake pads make my hands extremely dirty, as you can see. Yeah, the, the scooter definitely needs a clean. So um, leave it in comments below and tell my brother to clean this thing, because it, it definitely does need a clean. So pulling out the other side as well. It, Look how easy it comes out, and it obviously goes in the same way as well. So a little penny size, and there's a little tip on the top. This will work for the M365 Pro plus the M365. Maybe some other scooters might be the same brake pads, but I definitely recommend for you to check them first before you do change them. Most of these scooters are the same size brake pads, but yeah, definitely recommend checking them. <clears throat> and I went onto eBay, and I just typed in M365 Pro, uh, brake pads and then it brought up these ones um, the round ones with a little tip on them and also just the pure round ones as well so they do sound they uh, sound oh my gosh they do sell both of these brake pads the round ones and the round ones with the little tip on which is what I am using here so I'm gonna quickly demonstrate and put one of the brake pads in and show you once you put one brake pad in the other one won't fit and that is because you have to put them in a certain way first you can't just put them in um, so I'm just gonna show you that here so I put the one in on the right first well technically it's on the left but the way I'm holding it is on the right uh, so there you go so that one's in there and it's pushed in and it's it's that's it it holds in by a magnet so it, it goes in very easy but I wanted to show you this mistake just because in case you try putting your brake pads in and it doesn't fit just like this so I'll try putting it in it's not going in there and that is because the other brake pad is now too thick because 
obviously these brake pads are new you can undo this screw here a little bit that is what is going to adjust your brake pads as well it's going to make the brake pads closer together and further away so that is an option of how to tighten up your brake pads this is a five mil allen key that i'm using you can turn it this way which is going to loosen it or you can turn it the opposite way, which is obviously going to tighten it and make the brake pads get closer together. But again, even though I've loosened it, I now try and put the brake pad in. And as you can see, it still does not fit in there. So if you have this problem, it is because you have to put the other one in first. So what I'm going to do now is, um, as you can see, still not fitting in there. There's no way that is going in. Absolutely not a chance because these brake pads are obviously new. They have a lot more pads, uh, pad on it. So get your pair of pliers, pull that one back out. <coughs> and where the nut is, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Where the nut is where I did adjust it, that's the one that you have to put in first. So put that one in first, the one on the left there which is closest to the bolt that we loosened and then get the other brake pad and then that one will fit in there perfect no problem as you can see very easy to go in yeah just make sure that little clip at the top is uh sitting back in its right place if you don't have the clip and then as i say they might be pure round and you put put them in that way don't forget to drop a like on the video as well let us know you are still enjoying videos on electric scooters I also did change the tyres on this. I probably am going to need to change it again at some point. Maybe I could do a video on that. But he's got the punchless tyres. So there's no way you can get a punch now. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a gap there. Which is what you want. Because obviously that's going to be sitting over the disc, over the uh, disc brake itself. And then it just sits back on just like that. So pretty quick, fast instalment. Didn't really take that long, probably less than five minutes. The only reason why it took me this long is obviously I was, I was trying to show you guys about when you put it in the wrong way. Um, that's just the way it is, unfortunately. So, sorry about that. Yeah, so putting it in a certain way is obviously you have to do that. So tightening up this bolt at the top first. It doesn't really matter if you tighten the top bolt or the bottom bolt first. Either way, it will still do the job. How's it going, big man? You're right, man. I'm just uh, quickly editing a video. I'll be with you in one sec. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I heard you. That's why I quickly plugged in my uh, my headset. <laughs> okay, so tightened up the top bolt. Now putting in the bottom bolt. I'm just going to quickly tighten up that one. And then once we've done this, I'm then going to adjust the brake. So to adjust the brake to make sure that the brake pads don't, don't rub. Don't tighten up these screws all the way. Just do them a little bit. And then after you've done them a little bit, the best thing to do to get the brake pads to sit perfect is squeeze in the back brake like that. Hold the back brake in nice and tight. Keep it held in. And then you can then tighten up the two bolts that we was just doing. The top bolt and the bottom bolt where we just were. Squeezing in By squeezing in that brake is going to make the brake pads sit perfect on the disc so it doesn't rub. So very important to pull in that back brake. That back brake lever or front brake, front and back brake lever, <laughs> the main brake lever, pull it in. And then, yeah, tighten up the top bolt, tighten up the bottom bolt. And um, once you've got that brake pad in, you can really tighten up these bolts quite tight. Don't over tighten them because obviously you could end up rounding them off. But just get them on there, put them on and give it a nice good, a nice good tug like that. Just how I did there. And that will hold on quite well. <clears throat> so yeah, leave it in comments below. Tell my brother to clean this scooter because um, he doesn't very, it's not very often he cleans this thing. And they are really nice, they are really nice scooters. They're, they're great for getting up hills and getting around fast and stuff. Now you can release the brake lever and obviously you can turn your wheel to make sure that your wheel does actually turn. And as you can see, there is a bit of a gap in between there still, which is perfect because it means that the brake pads are not going to rub. If there is obviously a... Um, there's a little bit stiff. If there is any rubbing, the um, Allen key where I did show you, you could put the 5mm Allen key in and you could adjust it. You can also adjust it by the cable here as well. By unloosening this bolt, pulling the cable out a little bit, and then tighten it back up again. So there's, there's different ways to adjust it. You can also adjust it by the red cable there. There's that little black twisty bit. That feels nice and smooth now. It's not, it's not rubbing, so that did the job. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon.